Hey guys, welcome to Earth It. Hope all of you are safe and healthy. So today, let's prepare two quick, easy and cute little bottle crafts. Let's begin. So for the first one, I have taken a bottle of this shape. You can choose the shape of your choice and I'll be using black acrylic color for the base coat. This bottle already has a pattern etched in it. So we'll be using brush. If you do not have a pattern that's etched in the bottle and if the bottle is pretty much plain, use a sponge to dab the color. That way the color is going to evenly spread and that will give a very nice texture as well. Make sure to apply two to three layers of colors and at the same time let each layer dry completely. We can also use chalk paint as an alternative. Next we'll be using filament decoupage paper for the pattern and I have stuck it using fevicol. You can also use decoupage glue or mod podge for this step and make sure to stick it from one end to another in a very slow manner and press it evenly and gently so that there are no air gaps formed. Since the bottle has a curve at the base, I have created slits over there so that the pattern mends in with the glass. And make sure that your hands and fingers are extremely dry while working with filament or any type of printed pattern, else the print might smudge off if your hands are pretty sweaty or it has water or glue or any such substance. So make sure that your hands are extremely dry while working with this. Once it's done, let's just let it dry for some time. And just like the regular decoupage technique, we'll be kind of blending in with a very few elements. So over here, I'll be just doing a little detailing on the crown and the flowers. That's it. Since this pattern is already heavy, we do not have to do a lot of work. It's going to be a very smart and easy work. I have used turquoise blue and uh, leaf green for the depth and highlights. For the base color, I have used a combination of turquoise blue and pale emerald. So this way again, the decoupage kind of comes out really well and the pattern blends in and the color coding works well. So for any type of printed work or any type of decoupage work, make sure that the color palette matches and that's it, you're almost done with the artwork. Since this pattern already has a lot of pink, white and blue in combination, we'll be using crimson and white to create the pink palette and we'll be adding a little more detailing. As I had mentioned, this pattern is already heavy so we'll have to kind of blend in the background so that you know it doesn't look so evident, it doesn't look so poppy. So only the pattern or the focal point for the artwork has to be focused on and it shouldn't look too empty. In order to blend in again a little bit of colors, I'll be using 3D outliners to give a little bit of depth and color contrast or pop of colors and it shouldn't be so dark when compared to the image that we have created. So make sure that any type of pattern we do, the background has to blend in with the original image. So over here, it blends in really well and it doesn't look so odd and I'm giving a final coat of it with the same turquoise blue that we had next. For the top, I'll be using air dry clay from Fevicryl and we'll be kind of smudging it really well so that gives a very clean and smooth finish. For the second pattern, we'll be using English molds. One trick with the English mold is since the pattern is very intricate, make sure to dust powder, talcum powder in it. Else the pattern uh, is so intricate that it will hold the clay in and will be very difficult for us to remove the clay out of it. I have seen a lot of people using oil in it. Uh, it will ruin the mold in some time, in a particular time. So it's preferable to use talcum powder. Make sure to work in small batches so you know it will be easy for us to remove and it will be easy for us to work on for the detailing. It wouldn't be perfect every time you remove because you may have a little amount of clay stuck here and there. So once you have stuck it in your surface, stick it with the help of Fevicol and start brushing the excess with water and start smudging it so that it kind of looks smooth and we can also remove the excess with a precision knife. So once it's done, let it dry 
dry at least for 15 to 20 minutes so that time it, it it is a time taken by the molding clay to fix in its you know firm shape once that is done i kind of like this pattern so we'll be finishing it off with black matte finish in order to prepare the matte finish i'll be using talcum powder and i'll also mix it with acrylic color i have mixed equal amounts of it if you feel that it is quite hard you can also mix a little amount of acrylic color to it so that you know it looks more fluid and it's kind of easy to work with since it's a very intricate pattern you have to finish and you have to note that each and every part of your pattern is completely you know painted because we are going to highlight it with silver dust and medium on the later stage we'll definitely notice a great matte finish in this particular you know combination of talcum powder and acrylic color it gives a beautiful effect especially for anything that's going to be on vintage lines it looks so good Once it's done, I'll be using silver dust mixed with medium. I have just used my fingers to dab the paint and I'll be brushing it through. Do not use a brush in this stage because by a mistake you might end up painting uh, the background layers as well. So this way it's very easy and you know very quick to work with. We'll just dab a little amount of paint in our fingers and kind of smudge it over the pattern. That'll look really good, especially for the vintage patterns. This is very easy option. Over here, I'll be using gel medium as an alternative to varnish. I'm so used to it, it's easy and comfortable, especially for these types of artworks. You can also use decoupage varnish or spray varnish or mod podge to conceal your design. If you want the mat to be retained, do not paint the mat with varnish. You can just paint the pattern that you have created. So hope this video was useful. Meet you guys in the next video. Until then, Namaste.